Hey everyone, welcome to another book review. Today we'll look at Creative Freedom by Maggie Price. This is one of the many art books. This is one of the many art books that I have that's related to creativity and inspiration. This is the type of books that I enjoy the most. So this is Creative Freedom, 52 Art Ideas, Projects and Exercises to Overcome Your Creative Block. This was published in 2013 by North Light Books. The artist and author is Maggie Price. She is an artist who has been creating art since the early 1990s. Her main focus is actually on pastel. So this book, it collects a lot of fun art ideas and projects for the artists in you to explore and many of them are very easy to follow along because there are actually step-by-step -step instructions. This is a very guided book. It's a very accessible book. There are 144 pages in this paperback book. So the 52 projects included covers a variety of mediums such as oil, watercolor, acrylic, and pastels. There are 25 guest artists who have contributed to the book, including the author herself. Now even though quite a lot of mediums are included, the artists actually, the artists that are featured, that have contributed actually just use their preferred medium. So many of the ideas and techniques mentioned um, can actually be applied to other types of medium as well because some of the techniques, the tips are actually more like fundamentals on art rather than specific techniques on the media itself. For example, some of the projects are like use a limited color palette or paint a, a subject that's new to you, change your tools, paint at a new location, paint using a different size or format, and there are 52 projects as mentioned. So you can take one project to do for a week, and by the end of the year you can complete all the projects. And then you can go back to the start of the book again to basically repeat again. So this is really fun. This is a really fun book. Many of the examples, they are very beautiful. The contributing artists, they are all very accomplished. As you can probably tell just by looking at the artworks. And there's a brief description, brief profile on the artist. And if you want to check out more of the artist's work, the website is the website for those artists are included. So we have subjects on painting still life, painting people, landscapes. It's also a very good book for reference purposes. Now this is a this is the sort of book that you can just open up to flip to any page just to get inspired or just to try something new. And that's what I like about such books, such art and inspiration books. They are pretty much timeless. This is on 10 minute studies using pastels. You can of course use watercolor for example or use pen and ink to do the 10 minute studies this is 30 minute paintings again you can use oil gouache watercolor acrylic whatever is your preferred media paint a single subject single color subject this is on still life paint vegetables find the abstract in the ordinary that's a fun project. Create a watercolor stained paper collage. So this is a very hands-on book. It's a very nice book. I like this a lot. 
So it goes without saying that I highly recommend this book. Another thing that I like about this book is because there are so many types of media materials that are included. When you look at the workflow, the different processes, sometimes they give you ideas as well. And that's one thing I like about this. So yeah, you can find this book on Amazon and Book Depository. The affiliate links are in the video description below. If you buy through those links, I actually earn some money at no extra cost to you. So do check out the links below. That's all for today's book review. See you in the next video. Bye.